Good morning, everybody. Happy Sunday. I hope everyone's been having a beautiful weekend this past weekend. Today, we are taking you on a little drone and snorkeling tour of this beautiful part of Morea. Um, if you have been tuning into the channel this week, uh, you have probably have seen our drone video that we released on Friday um, with all of our drone footage from the trip that we just did to French Polynesia and it has some of the most beautiful places and beautiful sites um, including right here this is Tiahura and you ha you can see the little islands there in the distance so on Friday we released our brand new drone video with all of our favorite footage from our trip to French Polynesia this past year and today we're going to be so showing some of our other um, footage that didn't make the cut for our for our big premiere feature um, but it's just as beautiful and it's ta we're going to take you to uh, the sandbar where you can see the black tip reef sharks and the rays um, this is really a magical part of Morea up here on the northwestern corner of the island. Um, so you have this beautiful beach here. This is the Tipanier Beach. Um, there's a hotel there called Le, Le Tipanier um, and they serve lunch and drinks and things like that and it's such a beautiful spot. You have lots of families going there to uh, rent kayaks and little boats and then people kayak and take little boats around this beautiful area. Um, which is like there's lots of uh, black tip reef sharks and rays here. Uh, so you can see down the coast here, we're looking down towards where the Intercontinental used to be. Uh, one of our Tranquility family members pointed that out to us. I had no idea that there used to be an Intercontinental here. So that closed during the pandemic, um, but hopefully it'll reopen one day. It's such a beautiful location right here amongst the mountains and the beautiful clear water. So. Yeah, this location is very, very, very dreamy um, with all these beautiful waters. So we'll take a look at this today at Nutmeg in Time. Happy Sunday. It's nice to see you. I hope you're having a lovely and relaxing weekend. Um, and also in today's video, I've included, so we've, we've been getting some questions about, you know, what are some of our beach essentials and what kind of gear we use to film. Um, so if you're interested in that, we have a, uh, I've put some links in the description of this post, uh, which outline, you know, what which drones we use and um, which GoPros we use and uh, some of our favorite things too like reef shoes those are a definite necessity um, when you're when you're sort of exploring all these areas uh, you don't want to be walking in flip-flops because you'll definitely slip so um, if you're interested we have some links there uh, they are affiliate links so we'll make a we'll make a commission a small commission on any um, links that you click or purchases you make when you click those links um, at no cost to you um, so yeah Today we are just cruising down here. This is Le Tipanier Beach, and you can see there's two islands in the distance. Um, in French Polynesia, they call them Motus. So you have um, Motu Tiahura and Motu Farione, and they have um, some beautiful restaurants like Coco Beach. It's a famous restaurant, and they do delicious ribs and tuna over there. Um, and yeah, the colors are just mesmerizing. So you can see it's a popular spot for boats to come and hang out and families to kayak and snorkel. Um, it really is just magical. Oh, not Megan time. I'm so, so glad. Uh, yeah, I'm really happy that you've, you've enjoyed this drone footage. I have to say, like, I, I rewatched it so many times while I was editing it and um, even while editing it, you know, like, it's just so relaxing and mesmerizing. The, the color of the ocean um, and being able to see also like this particular area where you have the sandbar with the with the rays and the sharks It's mesmerizing watching them swim um, It's just incredible. So today. We're also going to share some GoPro footage uh, below the water of these beautiful graceful animals and uh, Yeah, so this was filmed with our DJI Mavic uh, D sorry, DJI mini pro 3 um, I have to say it's such a great little drone. It's so tiny, um, so it's really easy to travel with, and the colors are so rich. Um, we didn't fly it in such windy conditions, but it held up in some wind okay. So uh, I really recommend this drone if you're interested in um, in getting into getting into drone videography or anything like that. It's super convenient um, and very easy to use, and the colors and quality are really amazing. So. 
Miss Purple, hello. We love St. Bart's. I, I hope we get to visit there again soon. St. Bart's is absolutely magical. I agree, Nutmeg in Time. There is something really therapeutic about watching these waters and uh, and like just the shimmer on the ocean, the animals gracefully swimming through the blue. So here we're gonna go check out um, where all the black tip reef sharks and rays hang out. So you can see like there's this sandbar here. So the, where the dark blue water is, it's very deep, like maybe 30 feet deep or so. It's like very deep. <laughs> but right here where it's very light blue, that's where like there's a sandbar and it's super shallow. So maybe, um, you know, like maybe waist deep, something like that. It's, it's um, pretty shallow. And you have lots of boats and kayaks that'll come over here to hang out and play with the black tip reef sharks and with the rays. So it's really fascinating to see. Um, and it's crazy to see them just swim by you. And uh, especially the rays, they're so curious. So they'll swim right up onto you. <laughs> uh, and it's really mesmerizing. Like with the way that they're, the way that they're, um, I guess, I don't know what it's wings, the way that their wings move. Um, is is so beautiful And if you're interested in seeing our full YouTube video um, that has all of the um, footage that made the cut for our three hour uh, film, you can look in the description of this post and we have that linked there. So be sure to check that out. Also, don't forget to click the link in the description of this post to subscribe to our newsletter. We send that every week, letting you know when we're gonna be going live again. So be sure to subscribe if you haven't subscribed already. And a huge thank you to MD for the uh, super, super sticker so super chat and super stickers is another way that um if you if you think that we've earned it and we've done a good job or you've enjoyed our footage uh there's an option in our live chats to be able to support us by sending us super chat and super stickers um so you can do that by clicking the dollar sign the dollar bill area on the live chat here so a huge thank you md for supporting uh this live stream thank you so much Lovely lady, hello, happy Sunday. I hope you're having a beautiful day. I know, not Megan time. It is so deep, like it goes from so deep to so shallow. And it's, you know, that's one of the things that makes, um, I think French Polynesia so unique is that you have these really deep waters um, with pockets of super shallow waters. So the colors are just like out of this world because you have so many different kinds of blue. You have those deep, um, deep sort of navies and cobalts, and then you have like super turquoise uh, and azure waters, like the colors are just incredible. Um, so if you're watching this on like a TV, you can see the detail there of people swimming with the rays and you can see the little sharks, uh, you know, swimming through and checking everybody out. It's really cool. Uh, if you're watching this on a phone, I would definitely recommend trying to zoom in um, because seeing the sharks like swim around their silhouette for some reason, I just love it. Like I find their silhouettes so incredible. Um, there's just something so so hypnotizing to the way that they move their fins and um you know i've always had a i've always been pretty afraid of sharks but everybody here really reassures you that these black tip reef sharks are just curious and uh and that's it you know um so yeah they certainly are mesmerizing to watch and it's pretty incredible like french polynesia they they protect their um they protect their sharks and their marine life really, really well. It's actually, um, we took this tour with this group called Mermaid Tours and the girl who runs the tour group, her name is Luna and she's such an incredible girl, like a lifeguard and uh, very knowledgeable, very sweet. And uh, she was telling us that French Polynesia is actually the size of Europe, um, which is amazing to think about, like how huge. And they're all governed by the same laws in terms of, um, you know, protecting the reefs and the wildlife. So 
It's very unique because you have one of the largest areas on Earth that all have the same laws and um, protect their reefs so so carefully. Uh, so you have like one of the richest marine life situations uh, on Earth, and you know they have very strict laws against fishing for sharks. So you have lots of sharks and healthy reefs. Uh, one of the big things in marine in the marine world is if you have a reef with lots of sharks, your reef is very healthy. And so you know if you're a snorkeling lover, you would love it here because the reefs are just teeming with life. They're so colorful, so vibrant. Um, and so it's a real credit to the, uh, the government of French Polynesia for protecting the marine life so well. Nutmeg and thyme, I definitely recommend, uh, you know, if you watch the full length, um, if you click the link in the description and watch the full length video from the TV, I mean, I, you know, I don't want to toot my own horn or anything, but it's amazing, like, the, the, the watching the sharks swim through, if you go through the uh, timestamps on that video, I've marked where the where this scene is in our full length uh, in our feature film, and it's amazing to see like uh, it's just like the, the sharks the way they move with the shimmer of the ocean, and yeah, it's very incredible. And the rays, and um, you know, it's it's just so nice to see people on the stand up paddle boards and kayaking, and uh, and just really enjoying these beautiful and pristine waters, so so preserved and and so clean and pure. You can really see the, the sharks swimming around and checking out all the people. And it's such a unique thing to be able to, to do it in the wild, you know, and um, they also offer a lot of like whale watching tours where you can jump in the ocean with the whales, like with humpback whales. Um, so that's something to, to think about for maybe next year, but that happens in deep, deep water. So I don't know, that, that seems maybe a little scary, um, but it must be like a very magical and, uh, and spiritual type of, um, type of experience to be in the deep water with, with those majestic creatures. And so if you are just tuning in, today we are taking a look at some of our unseen drone footage from Morea. Um, this is our footage that was sort of left on the cutting room floor. Uh, we released our three hour drone video of Morea earlier this week on Friday. Um, so be sure to check that out by looking in the description of this post. I have a link to our full feature film. Um, our three hour drone footage uh, from, from Morea. So this is the extra footage that didn't quite make the cut, but I still really wanted to share with you because it's just magical, the colors. Um, and this particular area right here is on the northwest side of the island where you have a beautiful sandbar um, and here it's, there's lots of rays and black tip reef sharks um, and they're just mesmerizing to watch. I mean, I've never seen anything like this uh, before. Just absolutely breathtaking so I hope you enjoy this um, if you're curious about what kind of gear we use to film I have some links um, with that below in the description as well Diego hello it's so nice to see you and thanks you so much for that those kind words I'm really glad that you're enjoying it this was really amazing to film uh, the, the, this video um, you know, like we didn't really realize, people had told us that there were sharks over here, like uh, you could go here and see see the see the black tip reef sharks and the rays, but when, when we flew the drone and saw just how many there were, my mind was blown. I mean, probably 10, 20 sharks, I've never seen that in my life, so truly an amazing sight to see. World of Knowledge, hello, happy Sunday, hope you're having a beautiful day. I know nutmeg and thyme. It's truly incredible, and I didn't realize it's the size of Europe either. I mean, you have, in French Polynesia, you have so many, like 100, 120 different islands, all with them, um, and there's different regions. There's like the astral islands, which are rockier, the water's deep, they're more volcanic, um, and then you have, you know, these islands, there's different areas of islands, and they all have sort of different, they're different features, so you know, Morea, Bora Bora, these islands are sort of in their own category. So there's lots of variety as well. So it's so interesting. And um, 
And yeah, so we're gonna dive under the water soon to show you some of these sharks and rays um, from a snorkeling point of view. So that'll be coming up shortly. Um, it really is amazing just how well preserved this whole area is and how much nature there is. I mean, if you look out your hotel room window long enough in, in one of these places, um, you'll definitely see a shark swim by at some point. So uh, yeah, it's, it's pretty special. So here we go, here you have these black tip reef sharks and that was the um the girl you see there is luna if you visit morea you have to check out mermaid um tours she and her boyfriend do such a lovely job she is so knowledgeable and uh and so so just kind and like a ray of sunshine so be sure to check them out if you visit morea and yeah here you have these um beautiful rays look at them just magical The way they move is just so graceful and mesmerizing. And yeah, these rays are so friendly. I mean, they love Luna. I think they know her and remember her because they swam right up to her and were, were swimming all over her. It was really amazing to see. <laughs> And the way they feel is so so interesting, so different. Um, yeah, truly like a, an amazing experience. And the way their wings move is just so mesmerizing. It's almost it almost makes you think of like the waves in the ocean because it's so circular. Uh, the motion is so fluid. And it's so different with the way that the sharks move. The sharks really like cut through the water with their fin, you know? Um, but yeah, just amazing to see. And they swim right up to you. Yelena, hello, happy Sunday. Hope you're having a beautiful weekend. Thanks so much for tuning in and thank you everyone for tuning in today. We are looking at some of our favorite unseen footage from above the sea and below the sea today. These are the friendly um, rays and reef sharks on the island of Morea. Yeah, me PT, they are, it's peaceful here. So soothing um, and amazing to watch these beautiful animals. If you enjoy these live streams and our premieres, um, be sure to, to consider, you know, if you think we've earned it, uh, sending us super chat and super stickers. There's a way you can support the channel by um, sending us super chat and super stickers. So these are like these these cute emojis and things and they show up in the chat and um, yeah, a huge thank you to MD for sending us one earlier on. And we also have some links below for our full feature drone video so if you would like to see the full um, our full three-hour Morea drone footage be sure to click the link in the description of the this post as well Prakash hello I'm so happy you're enjoying the view yeah these sharks are amazing like I there's so many of them this particular area is magical Nutmeg and thyme, I completely agree. Like I had no idea either that there was so much diversity. Um, so if you look it up, you'll see like there's some islands that are very scrubby, dry, um, more Caribbean-like, you know, more like the Bahamas. There are ones that are very mountainous and tropical, and then there's ones that are very volcanic. So, so much variety and so well preserved. I hope so too, Nutmeg and thyme. You know, when you go and look at the um, 
the full drone video that we have. We have some footage of the Intercontinental there, and you can see their location was amazing, just right near this spot. Um, truly, truly incredible property. So hopefully they will be able to reopen one day. Prakash, I thought so as well, but apparently the black tip reef sharks are just curious and um, and yeah, you know, nothing to really be afraid of. So yeah, it's it's very unusual, but in French Polynesia, there's tons of sharks. Um, the waters are very protected, so there's no there's no fishing for sharks allowed. So you have a thriving shark population, and it's actually a sign of a very healthy reef. So if you love snorkeling, you will not be disappointed. Um, you know, you'll see some beautiful corals and beautiful reefs here because it is so well preserved. Um, so now we're going to take a little flight back um, and we're going to show you some boat footage going along the coast as we, as, as we sort of head back to um, the east side of Morea and go along the coast here. So you'll, we'll, we'll cut to that shortly. Right now we're looking at the two Motus. There is a popular, island, a popular restaurant here called Coco Beach um, on those islands over there. And um, yeah. Oh, not making time. That's that's nice of you to say. I'm glad that you enjoy the uh, the sort of background information. So if you look at these mountains here, we're we're going to be going past um, we're going to be going past the Tahiamanu Beach um, and this whole area. There's like also a bay called Oppenheimer Bay here, and these mountains are sort of steeped in um, in like a lot of folklore mythology. So. You can't see it here, but if you if you look, if we I, l l let's see if we get to it. But there are mountains here where, um, if anybody has seen the movie Moana, um, where there was a mountain in the shape of a woman, um, here you will you will see that as well. There are mountains in the shape. Uh, there's a mountain here in the shape of a woman, and um, it's part of the you know everyone on the island knows that. And once you see her, you can't unsee her. So um, yeah, there are some very so you can see here. There's her head on the right side and this is the area in here around the Oppenheimer Bay area where you can see this the mountains are just incredible they are so magical and um, and just huge a lot of people do hiking along here but the trails are definitely uh, you know for for expert hikers or else you really need a guide because um, they're they're pretty pretty intense like a few hours to get to the top and I mean these are some very tall mountains uh, and they can be sort of wet and slippery so but so we didn't do any hiking on this trip um, I'm more of a, an ocean person myself uh, you know I'd rather go for a swim than go for a hike but um, but yeah the mountains are, are just beautiful and uh, and here like in the you know the deep blue water it's amazing the contrast that it can get so so deep so quickly So yeah, the, the, the woman is laying on her on her back there and you can see her hair. This is from a different angle. Um, but yeah, if you look it up as well, the, the mountains of Morea and the mythology of the, of the woman uh, laying down with her hair flowing, it's, um, it's beautiful. I mean, there's just so much um, so much of that rich uh, th those rich stories here in Morea. So this is going along the north coast of the island, heading to the east side. Um, and so along this northern part of the island, you have the Hilton Hotel, and then you have a lot of private homes. Um, oh, nutmeg in time. Thank you so much. That is so, so kind of you. Thank you for, for, the super, for the super sticker. That's so sweet. And thank you so much for your support. Um, and for tuning in all the time, I, I love I love chatting with you and uh, and sharing with you. So that's very sweet of you. Thank you so so much. It really means a lot knowing that you enjoy enjoy all these videos and also all the background information. You know, it's so much fun to to learn all this and share it. Um, 
and and yeah when you kind of get like a deeper understanding about the place that you're visiting and you connect with it in, in a whole different way you know um so yeah being able to share that with you is very is, is so nice for me so thank you so much not megan time here we are we're heading back to um there's another hotel on this side of the island and so this is going towards the east side and you can see now the water is getting more light blue it's getting more shallow um, so here we go. Oh, not Megan time. That's so sweet of you. I'm, I'm glad. Yeah. It's so fun to, to share and to, to learn a little bit about these, about these places that are so, so remote, you know, and, and not really often visited. So, um, yeah, it's really interesting and to experience different cultures and, and everything like that, you know? Um, but yeah, there are some really beautiful houses along this, along this shore. Be, it sure would be nice to, to have one of these spots with all the palm trees and look at the water. So blue now. Um, we're going to try something else. I wanted to test out some other footage, see if you like it or don't like it. Um, we, I have some driving footage from driving around Morea around, uh, during the day and at sunset time. So this will cut to that too. Um, and yeah, let me know in the comments below if you enjoy the driving videos. I'm curious about that. Um, and then we have a little bit of boat, boat footage from Tahiti. So it's something different, <laughs> but I want to experiment and, and see, you know, if you enjoy that or if you like it. Um, so yeah, we'll cut to that shortly, test out something a little different and show you a different perspective of the island as well. Uh, the perspective from the road, you know, the, the, it's interesting because the road here, like it is scenic, you know, cause you're right going along the water. So that'll be, I'm, I'm curious to share that, but yeah, the, the waters here are just breathtaking and, um, these houses like, wow. So magical. And a huge thank you to uh, the Mermaid Boat Tour and, and Luna for taking us on such a sweet trip. Uh, she really is such a sweetheart. So if you ever find yourself in Morea, you have to look up Mermaid Tours. Um, she, Luna and her boyfriend do such a great job and she is so knowledgeable. Um, so here, there you, there you can see the woman laying down with her hair flowing right where I pointed, you saw in the video. Um, yeah, that she's one of the great legends of, of Morea. And so this is driving past the same area, Oppenheimer Bay, right around sunset time. Um, and you can see the mountains are just magical and the light is breathtaking. I think there's something really special about the sunsets here because there's just nothing else around you. You know, the, these islands are really out in the middle of the ocean. So the, the colors, the richness, how long they last. I mean, the vastness of the sky, the vastness of the sea, there's really something mesmerizing to it all. Oh, not Megan time. I'm glad to, I'm glad to hear that. No, that that's great to know. Um, you know, like I trying to, trying to decide what to film, what to share, you know, and I personally love filming these driving videos. Um, because I just love the way that the sunlight looks, you know, as you're driving by and you see the clouds and the colors and little pockets of sunshine. Um, so I'm, I'm really happy that this sort of adds to the whole experience. That's really, really good to know. And here, so this is Oppenheimer Bay and you'll get lots of mega yachts in here. We saw a couple of big mega yachts. Um, the cruise ships will sometimes dock in here, but look at the view. I mean, that mountain is just majestic. Um, and the palm trees so perfectly placed. It's like a postcard. Um, so this is a popular harbor for sailors uh, to dock and also for mega yachts. You'll see some mega yachts and from time to time cruise ships in here as well. Um, yeah, it's magical. And, uh, you know, these mountains do attract the clouds. So the clouds with the sun, with the sun setting, um, the colors are just, you know, something out of a movie. So, so majestic. And here you have like lots of little shops as well. Um, the architecture, you know, it's really uh, Tahitian, very unique. It almost has like a bit of an Asian, Asian type of Asian influence to it, I find. But yeah, it's it's very different. Um, and look at this, look at this light. I know, I'm not Megan time. The colors. Look at this, with the with the palm trees and the um, and the uh, and the yeah, the palm trees, the light on the water, like it just takes my breath away, even watching it all over again. Like it's so mesmerizing.
just hypnotizing, right? I mean, the colors are beautiful. And it's such a, an amazing thing that they have these, um, that they have these roads that run right along the ocean like this. Um, and these little glimpses, these beautiful glimpses of the, of the setting sun and the colors, all the purples and pinks. Oh, Reverie, that's pretty cool. Yeah, I mean, I've heard the colors in Arizona are also pretty amazing. Um, I would love to visit the desert one day. And uh, I've heard that the landscape is similar to the ocean in the sense that there's just this vastness, um, you know, and sort of like a, and you know, this, this beautiful, yeah, vastness, I guess. Um, my sister lives out in Montana and her father-in-law made that comparison. And I, um, you know, when I visited Montana for the first time, I really agreed with him. Like there is, it's so interesting how, how the ocean and still those areas with the mountains and, and sort of these great valleys have, have that similarity. Yeah, it's very, very unique reverie. So I, I would love to visit Arizona one day and the colors really truly look amazing. So here we are passing, um, I think this might be the Hilton Hotel here. Yeah, that's the Hilton. Oh, not Megan time. That's, thank you so much. I'm so glad that you, you're enjoying it. Um, you know, I think we're, yeah, we're, gosh, time flies looking at this beautiful footage. We're almost, we're almost done the, uh, the tour here. We're gonna, I think, do a little more of the driving and then we have a very special, um, end. We were staying at this Airbnb in Tahiti and the owner of the Airbnb took us on his boat out to a surfing wave at sunset. So this Airbnb, um, it's right, it's in Tahiti and, uh, and there's a beautiful surfing wave, a big, powerful wave. And he was like, you have to come check it out with us. Um, such a nice guy. So he took us on his boat and there's like maybe a minute of footage at the end of this video, but I really wanted to share it with you because it's also magical. And here we have the, um, here we have the Tahia Manu beach at sunset. Look at that. Oh, it's beautiful. The colors. palm tree paradise. Yeah, nutmeg in time. It was a real treat. Um, he was a really nice guy and so so kind of him to bring us out and, and share that experience. So that's going to be coming up and then, you know, that's going to be it for today. So we're going to start winding down. But a huge thank you to everybody for tuning in. Um, you know, I, I always look forward to this. If you're not subscribed to our newsletter, please click the link in the description of this post and we'll uh, let you know the next time we're going live. I'm so, so glad that you enjoyed this Nutmeg in Time. Thanks so much for, for sending us a super chat as well. That's very sweet of you. Yeah, a gorgeous sunset. Oh my gosh. So here we are going out to the surfing spot and we're gonna be just about wrapping up here. So a huge thank you to everybody for tuning in, Nutmeg in Time. This has been so fun hanging out with you. Um, I hope everybody has a beautiful weekend, rest of your Sunday. Peter, hello, happy Sunday. Ed, so nice to see you. We are almost out of time here, but we're heading out to this um, surf spot. So I hope you enjoy this last little bit of the live stream. We'll see you guys next time. Thanks for tuning in, everybody. And here you have that magical wave. So we're going to wrap on that. Thanks so much for tuning in, Nutmeg in Time. Thanks for your support. We'll see you guys next week. That's all for now. Thank you again for tuning in.